This little project started with a mango and cream bar, the last one in the box. On the way to the recycling bin, I wondered if I could make a print from the carton. I used scissors to snip away one sheet of the carton material, and while it was very thin and flexible, it seemed like it was just enough thickness to hold a line. Since it's going into recycling, what have I got to lose? I'll just give it a try. To make the paper sturdier, I coated it front, back, and edges with an acrylic gloss varnish. Sealing the paper cart material with acrylic varnish turns it into almost a plastic plate. After the varnish was dry, I used a ballpoint pen to sketch the outline of a cat right on the varnish. Then I used a stainless steel scribing tool to indent lines into the carton. I'm not scratching the material as much as I'm indenting a groove in the carton material that will hold ink. You can see here that even though the material is very thin, it's holding lots of incised line work. Every indentation I make with the tip of the tool creates a space that will hold ink. When I was satisfied that I had enough cross hatching to create some darks and lights on the design, I sealed the plate front, back, and edges with two more very thin layers of the gloss varnish. If you make one of these, Print your reference photo in black and white so you can focus your mark making into the carton material on areas where there's shadow or darks. The ink will wipe away from the smooth, shiny areas and those will be your lightest lights. I inked this plate with Akua Van Dyke Brown Intaglio ink and wiped it with Akua's wiping cloth or tarlatan. You'll find a lot more details over on my blog. And look at how much of the ink is staying in those lines. I printed the cat on my etching press using Arnhem 1618 paper and I was pleasantly surprised with how much detail I was able to pull out of that thin carton material. This is a small edition of three which I've listed in my Etsy shop and as I mentioned there's more about this on my blog. I Hope you make one of these. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so that you'll catch the next version of this, which will be without a press. We're going to make a still life of sliced limes in a bowl using a Kleenex box and a rolling pin. Stay creative and I'll see you in the next video.